Graphing a quadratic equation. Welcome to the Math Cat channel, where our math lessons are informative, innovative, and short. Ha! This is the series on the quadratic equations, where I show you the relationship between the quadratic equation and the graph that it produces, so that you'll know right away whether or not you're on the right track. In this video, we're going to go over the constant term in the quadratic equation. If you haven't already, please take a second right now and subscribe to the MathCat channel, which you can do by clicking on the MathCat icon in the corner of the screen. That way you'll know when new MathCat videos come out. And I'll be back at the end of the video with links to other videos in this quadratic equation series, as well as links to other MathCat videos. And thanks for watching. Let's look at the form of a quadratic equation. y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, with a first term where the ax squared is called the x squared term. And the plus c at the end, that's called the constant term. The bx in the middle, well, we'll just call that the middle term. And in this lesson, we're not going to do anything with the middle term, so we'll take that out. What we're left with is y equals ax squared plus c where c is the constant term. And we want to see how the constant term affects the graph of a parabola. So we're going to set a equal to 1. That will give us x squared and c equal to 0 to start with. And we're going to see how the graph of the parabola is affected when we set the constant term to different values. First let's look at y equals x squared. And we'll put in the constant term plus 0. So I can show you that the vertex of the parabola at 0, 0 has a relationship between the constant term and the y value for the vertex. If I show you y equals x squared plus 1, you'll see that the parabola shifts up the y-axis to a vertex of 0, 1. The constant term plus 1 tells us the y value for the vertex. y equals x squared plus 2, the parabola shifts up the y-axis, the vertex is now at 0, 2 you can see the relationship between the constant and the vertex. y equals x squared plus 3, the parabola shifts up, the vertex is now at 0, 3. The constant term gives us the y value for the vertex. If we said y equals x squared plus 8, the vertex would be now at 0, 8. And you can see the relationship that's established. What if the constant term were negative? Well, if we had y equals x squared minus 1, the parabola would still be upward facing, and the vertex would be at 0, minus 1. The constant term would still tell us the y value for the vertex. y equals x squared minus 2, upward facing parabola with a vertex at 0, minus 2. And you can see the relationship between the constant and the vertex y value. y equals x squared minus 3, the parabola shifts down, the vertex is at 0, minus 3, and you can see the relationship. If we had y equals x squared minus 8, upward facing parabola with a vertex at 0, minus 8. But what now if we took the sign in front of the x squared and made it negative, like y equals negative x squared plus 0? The minus in front of the x squared term would turn the parabola upside down, but the vertex would still follow the rule with the constant term, 0, comma 0. So minus x squared plus 1 would be a downward facing parabola with a vertex at 0 plus 1. And there's the relationship. If we had minus x squared plus 2, downward facing parabola, the vertex is at 0 plus 2. If we had y equals minus x squared plus 3, downward facing parabola, vertex at 0 plus 3. And there's the relationship. And if we had something like minus x squared plus 8, still a downward facing parabola, vertex at 0 plus 8. If the constant term were negative, y equals minus x squared minus 1, we would still have a downward facing parabola, and the vertex would be at 0 minus 1, just like you'd expect. y equals minus x squared minus 2, the vertex is now at 0 minus 2. And if we had minus x squared minus 3, downward facing parabola, vertex at 0, minus 3. And one more, if we had y equals minus x squared minus 8, downward facing parabola, vertex at 0, minus 8. So now I'm going to show you two parabolas, one with a positive x squared, one with a negative x squared, and the vertexes at 0, 
plus 3, 0 minus 3, just like you'd expect. And you can read those right off of the constant term. And the sign in front of the x squared tells us if it's an upward facing parabola or a downward facing parabola. So the constant term in the quadratic formula gives us the y coordinate for the vertex of the parabola. And we saw how the sign in front of the x squared term causes the parabola to either face up or face down, depending if the coordinate is positive or negative. And I'm going to put up a link right now to a video with more detail on the sign in front of the x squared term. I also have a link to a video, which I'm going to put up right now, that shows us how the magnitude of the coordinate in front of the x squared term affects the shape of the parabola. If you haven't already, please take a second and subscribe to the MathCat channel. You can do that by clicking on the icon in the corner of the screen. Also, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. And thank you for watching.